Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Notion with Asana. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at Notion.com and once we do that we are ready uh, to make this integration happen. Uh, first app that we can use for this is automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And we want to go to the top corner of uh, automate site and hover over integrations. This pop-up uh, window will show up and we want to go to the bottom left corner and see all categories. As you can see, you can pick from more than 200 apps. So let's go with Notion as our trigger app. We click on Notion. And the second app, uh, that will be the action, is Asana. We click on Asana. And as you can see, there is a couple of options or popular integrations already pre-made for us. We can pick from those, but if you won't be able to find the integration that you need, you can still scroll down and create your own integration in automate.eo. On the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start uh, with Notion. So left side will be at Notion. So yeah, let's click the first one or whatever you like. And on the right side, underneath the actions, you gotta be Asana, and like this. And you just press try now and you will be redirected to sign into your account at automate.eo. The second application that we can use is zapier.com. Uh, we need to create ourselves an account as well here and uh, go to dashboard and top left corner make a zap we click on make a zap yeah it will we have to wait a bit we can name our zap here uh, by just uh, writing notion to asana for example And it works the same way like at Automate. We go with a trigger and the trigger app is Notion. We click Notion, uh, trigger event is new database item. We hit continue. Now we log in with the account that we created just for this reason, continue. And as I said, uh, if you're working with Notion, there is a couple of option in database that you work uh, with your friends or your colleagues and so on, but I don't have anything here. You just basically click on the available options and press continue and that's about it. We can jump now to the second action and the second action, as I said, or as we did before, is Asana. We hit Asana, uh, we pick from those projects, so let's create a project. And now we have just to log in into Asana account. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.